Good morning and welcome to the vlog. I'm so happy you're here. I don't know, I just kind of thought today it was gonna be a fun day. I have some like fun plans. I'm going in to St Andrews. I have a book voucher so I get to buy more books and I just generally want like a nosy to go out for lunch and a nice coffee so come along I guess it's like we're all going into St Andrews together it'll be good fun. I'm also really excited for my pan au chocolats which are in the oven as you just saw and I thought I would just sit down and chat whenever they're baking because I'm having a lovely morning like I mean is any morning whenever you're like baking in your own kitchen in your pajamas which is in my case um a really old random Criminal Minds t-shirt and embarrassingly I am actually re-watching all of Criminal Minds right now and I am literally living for it. That was my favourite show whenever I was 16 and it's actually one of the things that pushed me to study psychology which is I suppose I'm grateful to Criminal Minds for who I am today. I no longer want to be in the BAU but I'm still a psychologist because of it which is fun. My goal in life is literally to be Dr. Spencer Reed. I'm gonna be honest, I'm sitting here chatting. I don't really know what I'm saying, but I am having a lovely morning and I'm looking forward to the rest of the day and I hope you are too. I'm feeling cute, looking cute. I'll do full outfit of the day details in a second because digging this fit. But as I literally was setting my camera up in the mirror to like, my mirror is like right there, by the way. In case I'm like gesturing to it, I can see myself right now. Um, and as I went to like start filming it, the door went. I was like, didn't think I'd ordered anything. But the postman came and he brought a bag of wool and the gang knitting supplies. I still can't believe I'm saying this because I've loved wool and the gang for the longest time, but this is so very kindly gifted to me. So I thought we could like open it up together and see what's all inside. This is, I forget the name of it, but I will have it like linked in the description. It's one of their jumper making kits for absolute beginners because I'm a shit knitter, um, but I'm gonna get better. I'm determined to get better. Oh my goodness, this is the most gorgeous colour. I kind of forgot what colour I had ordered, but oh, it's so soft too. I ordered this like duck egg blue. Like, how cute is my jumper gonna be in this colour? So there is one, two, three, four, five, six. We have. I don't even know if I can carry these all at once. Uh, I can't, I dropped one. We have six balls of the crazy sexy wool, which is just as soft as everyone online has said it is from Will and the Gang. And I am just, oh my God, I cannot wait to knit a jumper in this. How cute am I gonna be? Like me wearing a jumper that I've knitted, the par is gonna be unmatched. Like I'm gonna be too powerful for this world. These are also like, the biggest knitting needles I have ever seen. I don't know how many millimeters they are. They're 15 millimeters. I could kill a man with one of these. The outfit of the day portion because I really need to be leaving. I'm going to St Andrews like right now, so. First of all, start at the top, I guess. I have these really cute hair clips in, but I don't know how to show them on camera because they're like at the back of my head. They're like blue checkered. Um, I'll get my boyfriend to take a clip of them. They're really cute. They're from ASOS. These earrings, I feel like I show them all the time. I am obsessed with this like big beaded butterfly. These are the Nina Florence and on Root collection, which I was once again very kindly gifted. I cannot believe this. I feel like such like an influencer <laughs> in this vlog being like gifted. Monetize my YouTube 
2022 please <laughs> um this jumper is my boyfriend it's like man has good taste it has all these little like rainbow speckles on it he got it in turkey so i can't link it i think it was from mudo for any turkish fans i have quite a lot of things from mudo i dig that store and i wish they would come to the uk my jeans pretty boring just pull and bear mom jeans and my shoes <laughs> my shoes they're dinosaur converse like I did tell you, I'm like five years old, that I wear dinosaur converse, but all in all, feeling it's a really cute fit. I have a little body warmer that I'm gonna put over it. Feeling very cute, so let's go to St. Andrews. belly do you know what in 2022 gorgeous gorgeous girls love their bellies we love our little belly pooches our bellies are soft and squishy and beautiful and yeah that's all that's the end of this video self-love in 2022 i don't know yeah little tummies big tummies all tummies are beautiful i am definitely very insecure about my own tummy but i don't know the way it like popped up in the camera there it felt cute uh, we're gonna keep going on that energy with the cute bellies but hello i am back home i had such a lovely day in st andrews but and i have tea the best thing in the world well i also really love i love coffee i love chai chai is a form of tea so i guess like chai lattes can kind of under tea right but i love coffee i love coffee way too much tea matcha which is kind of a tea so i suppose everything falls under coffee or tea and then I suppose I have to go with tea because there's more things that fall into the tea category than more things that fall into the coffee category. Like coffee's just coffee, but matcha is tea. And chai lattes are tea. I love both them, I just fucking love tea. <laughs> My day was lovely. Um, I didn't get as many clips as I wanted to. I really wanted some more like cute clips in Top and Go, which as I've talked about is like one of my videos, but it was really busy. And I don't know, I was just kind of having a bit of a anxiety day. I mean, like, what day isn't an anxiety day, really? But, like, um, I just didn't have the courage to, like, get my camera out and get my boyfriend to record me, like, reaching up and, like, grabbing books and, like, holding books and stuff when there's those people around. I just felt that might send my anxiety uh, into a spiral. So I didn't, but now I'm home and now I feel anxious anyway because I don't have that much good footage, so... It's like, which anxiety thing would have been worse, you know? Like, anxiety's a bitch. It really is, but I did have a lovely day. We went in and we got some Korean food. Actually, I really wanted to go to, there's this gorgeous cafe in St. Andrews called Cottage Kitchen. And I really wanted to go there for like coffee and lunch. And I've tried to go there like three or four times and every time they've been full. Which I suppose is a testament to them that it's full and they're doing well, which means it's popular and it's good food and good coffee. But it's also really annoying that you can't get a seat in there. So I will try again, never worry. But um, obviously we couldn't go there for lunch, we were hungry and it's full. So we went to like a um, Oppa, a Korean restaurant in St. Andrews and got some spicy jjigae. Jjigae? I really 
really hope I'm saying that right. My knowledge of Korean is appalling. Um, I only know like uh, Jige, which I hope I'm saying right, from Jen M's vids because of her like what I eat in a day. She's often made that. Um, like the spicy broth, some gochujang and tofu. Oh, it was exquisite. It was delicious. And Korean food is definitely something that I had not eaten very much of before, but I will be eating so much of it now. Like I'm already like writing a grocery list whenever I go to like the Asian supermarket to be like, gochujang, gocharu kimchi but whenever I was in St Andrews you saw me be stuck between a few books which toppings has such a wonderful collection of books at my wonderful friend Tilly got me a voucher for my birthday so thank you so much Tilly this book that I can put a corner in would not have been possible thank you um but I went in today to spend my birthday voucher and I was just so excited to get to buy a new book so many choices topping selection is like better than any other bookstore like they have so many books that you, know, like, you can't find in Waterstones um but the book I went with is one I've seen quite a bit on TikTok and I am leaning into the like unhinged women kind of vibe because I got Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder. Yoder? Yes. Yoder? Yoder? Pronunciation is not it today but one love a dog two this just sounds incredible. I will read the blurb because I won't be able to do justice at all. Freedom comes in many forms. At home full time with her two year old son, an artist finds she is struggling. She is lonely and exhausted. She had imagined. What was it that she had imagined? Her husband, always travelling for work, calls her from far away hotel rooms. One more toddler bedtime and she fears she might lose her mind. Instead, quite suddenly, she starts gaining things. Surprising things that happen one night when her child will not sleep. Sharper canines, strange new patches of hair, new appetites, new instincts, and from deep within herself, a new voice. So into it it says on the back, one day the mother was a mother but then one night she was suddenly quite something else. I also love this dog. <laughs> I want to bring her close to you. <laughs> that's such a mood. Like. That's me. This is me whenever I sit on my laptop and I like look at it because I don't want to do any work. It's just like, it like, it's so small, but it just looks like feral. And I love it. Um, I have a few books I have to get through before I can move on to this one, but I perhaps have a dedicated reading vlog. Linking to a little bit. I'm not gonna tell you fully what it is, but links a little bit to chaotic, unsure and unhinged women, which I have heard that night bitch falls under. So I'm going to stop rambling, I'm going to go finish my cup of tea, watch some criminal minds and I'll catch you later with a cosy night in. <laughs>
rather than me like half-assing something with a whole load of like holes through it. So I'm sacrificing reading for a little while. We're gonna knit. So enjoy. I hope this is as satisfying for you as it is for me.